Wild-eyed northern boy. Loud, proud, and drawing a motherfucking crowd. Love it, hate it, it don't matter to me. Anyway, let's move on to more positive things in life. Oh, let me see what we got going on here. 56 degrees inside. They say it's 38 outside, maybe it's 38. 315. Just took my medication. Yes, sir, read Bob. Oh, where are we at? 129 more days before my bike. I would like to have it done. Um, uh, the, my neighbor, he's a good guy. See him on his videos with his big beard. Anyway, he thinks I'm all that in a bag of chips. I could do anything. Um, I beg to differ, but anyway. It's what he's paying me to do. Am um, I making a lot of money? No. I like the man. I like the man a lot. Because he never takes me for granted. He always treats me with respect like people should. But anyway. He had put... Well, of course, you ain't going to be able to see nothing because the sun's beating down. But um, he had put some coating on it. He's not really sure what he put on it. So my first step is, is I'm going to run some stripper on it. Um, he wants it smooth like spank baby's ass. I told him and his wife that you can't put hot stuff on the table. Um, you just can't. It won't last. Oh, uh, anyway. I'm going to make a point. This is a drill press. Why do they call it a drill press? I don't know. But they do. Here's my point. It's coming. Wait for it. Anyway, I believe this is a capacitor. Um, I'm not really sure what size of capacitor to, to get. Um, but by the time this video airs, I will already order one on eBay. Okay. Let's uh, regroup, push rewind, push play. You'll get my point. That's the drill press. Okay. This is a drill. Well, fuck it. Why don't I just call this a drill press? Yeah, because it's a drill and you press on it so it's a fucking drill press. No, it's fucking not. Done with that one. Right there. There's a fucking body shot right there. No, it's not. Here's my motherfucking rant. And then I'm going to let this die. And I'm going to let everybody say whatever the fuck they want to say. Really, I'm not going to block nobody. Anybody that wants to be unblocked on, unblocked on my channel, fucking PM me. I'll unblock you. I'm gonna let everybody say what they want to say because I'm, I'm gonna let you people say stupid shit. Make yourself look stupid, okay? I just lost train of thought. This is what my shop was called a long time ago. It was a tinker tour shop, hobby shop, whatever the fuck shop, okay? This is my problem with guys calling their garage a shop. This is my only problem. This is not a motherfucking shop. Okay, establish that. This is what bothers me. You get a guy that gets a loan that pays rent or buys a building, got a tax ID, and has his name up in lights. That's a shock to me. It takes a lot of balls and a lot of capital and a lot of worry, I would assume. Because when you own a shop and you got overhead, you got to make money every motherfucking day, every week. You can't be dilly-dallying the fuck around, unlike me. That guy would have a shop. The reason I don't call this a shop is because I just explained it to you. When I, if I call this a shop, I'm taken away from the guy that fucking hung his dick out there and said, I'm going to tried to get a shot. He has went somewhere that I haven't gone. 
He had more balls. He must be dragging on the fucking ground, scraping. Yeah, that's the difference when a, a real shop and what I have. When you call both shops, you're robbing from the dude that has more overhead, things like that. I know people are gonna um, say I'm wrong. It's beautiful. This is one and done. I'm not gonna um, argue, piss them all about it, because I really don't have time anymore. I just call a spade a spade. I don't call a motherfucker a heart. I could say a lot of things about an individual, but I'm not going to because I never came on YouTube to fight a awesome bullshit. I'm pretty much done with that stuff. Oh, and I like tater tots too. I think um, they're playing on this video going this long. I'm going to strip that table down. Uh, give you an update. Hopefully it'll take me, I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know how long it'll take. Um, like I said, it makes a big difference. Should be working on my chop. Do I want the money? Yeah, I want the money. But if another person brought that same table and offered me more money, if I didn't like the person, I'm not going to do it. Because I'm not in need. There's a difference between a need and a want. I want the money. I don't need it. Because I want to take the money that I get for doing this table, and I want to buy a part for my bike, or what have you, and I can look at that, and in my eyes it would be free. No, it wasn't free, because I put labor into it. But that's how I look at it. You know, this is not a fucking shop, man. I don't have to make money. There's a difference, man. A big fucking difference. And I just think you're robbing from people when you... You're taking all the pride and everything it took to get a fucking shop. To run, do, do the taxes and fucking everything, man. It's a lot of fucking, you know, SWRNC. That's a shop, man. He's got a lot of overhead. He's got to do X amount of cars, you know. Um, he's got to make his motherfucking money. He ain't got time to dilly dally fucking around and tinker toy land. Okay? Is that what I wanted to say? You guys want to pose and say whatever the fuck you want to say. Oh, I want to clarify this because I don't want to mislead anybody because it's wrong. A lot of times I think about saying things, but I don't, I don't say them. It isn't like I'm trying to hide anything. No, what this is, this was a vinyl stencil cut out on a, um, oh, I don't know. I can't remember the program. Um, Sign man 12,000 or 1,200 would know. Um, it's a vinyl graphic and you lay it out and you pick the end center out and then you, I, uh, I didn't actually airbrush the golden air, I brushed it in with a brush. Why, because I was too lazy. Um, I could it would have been quicker to airbrush it than brush it, but same reason why I'm doing that outside because I don't want dust all over my bike. Um, my number one rule is, as of right now, my bike doesn't leave the garage. It's not going to leave the garage. I will not allow it to leave the garage because if I let this leave the garage, what is probably gonna end up happening, it's gonna sit right there, I'm gonna put a tarp over it, and I'm gonna forget about it. Maybe some people don't understand that, but I've done it for seven years, and I'm not gonna do it for seven more years. Um, the time is now. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Anyway, I've got a lot of ideas. Maybe I'm dragging my feet. I don't know. Um, I think about using a seat that I got from a YouTuber. I'm not sure because I'm not really digging the seat I got. Um, yeah, how many minutes has it been? Don't know how many minutes has been. Um, isn't it right now that um that like in Arizona and stuff like that I could be wrong California correct me if I'm wrong but now that it's starting to get warm in ski town northern um if it's getting warmer here is it getting colder there or is it getting really hot there I don't know I get that confused so we went to Arizona Mason, Arizona, a year, about a couple years ago, and I remember in March, it was fucking screaming hot, man. Fucking screaming hot. Is that how the weather works? Oh, and I want to explain something to you. Um, take for what's worth it. I can't make it. fucking say stuff, do stuff, but I will do this. I think it's rude 
to not call a person by what they want to be called. Okay? My name ain't Tommy. My name ain't Thomas. It's Tommy Shoe. Or it's Paint Temp. Or it's Wild Eyed Northern Boy. My name ain't Fred. My name ain't Jack. My name ain't Joe. It's not named Tommy. It's Tommy Shoe. Or it could be Tommy Fuck You Shoe. You know, it's my pet peeve. Pac Man wants to be called Pac Man. I call him Pac Man. Out of respect, because that's what he wants to call. I don't even know his real name. Matter of fact, Pac Man's been here twice in the last five days, so he's still trying to convince me to do his car now. I told him it's not going to happen. But anyway, I told him uh, July 22nd I would do it. Well, he has a problem with that because probably because he's selfish and he wants his car done now. Uh, too bad. The window of opportunity is closed. I'm doing what I'm doing now. My point being, he's concerned, well he makes it makes it sound like that he's being loyal to me and he's not having the car painted somewhere else. Now that's bullshit, cut the bullshit. The reason you're coming back to me, because nobody will do the caliber of work I do for the price I fucking do it for. He's scared that once uh, July 23rd gets here, that I'll be riding this bike and I'll, I'll always be gone. Really, anybody that knows me knows I fucking live in this goddamn garage every fucking day. It's what I do. Regardless, as Tim's done, the beggar's done, the sporty's done, and I'm not joy riding the son of a bitch to death, that isn't what I do. Anyway, how did I get off on this? I don't know. The point being, there's a lot of guys that's a lot better than me. Do a lot of things. But I can say one thing. I believe, could be fucking wrong, I put more hours in this garage every day of the week than most people put in a job during the week. Think I'm wrong? There's no way for me to prove it. But it don't matter. You know, this is one thing I learned about my old man. My old man never bowed down to nobody. Because if somebody pays your way, they own you. I don't want what other people have. I won't let them buy me. Because as soon as they buy you and they make the rules, they can pull the rug out from underneath you and you're fucking left high and dry. I don't care what people got. I don't really care what people say. Unless I feel what they're saying is of value. But when they talk out of their fucking ass, I'm here to tell you they're talking out of their fucking ass. What they assume or what they think or it's different of what you fucking know. There's a difference. Just because so and so said don't mean a rat fucking shit to me. Yeah, I know I sound pretty arrogant. I don't really care. I'm fucking tired of the bullshit. People just spit out whatever the fuck they want. But anyway, this is cut the crap because I said I ain't gonna air this bit, this shit on a video again. Peace of mind. Peace of oneself. Peace on earth. Rest in peace. Bigger piece of the pie, piece of action, piece of the puzzle, piece of pussy, piece of pizza, piece of corn dog. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. And this is what I've learned, and this is my motherfucking opinion, and I stand by it. Because you know what? My old man would never fucking bow down. He would say what he wanted to fucking say. That's why I admire him, not because he's my dad. Because he said what he wanted to say. He didn't let them be by him. When he was around a certain caliber people, whatever, whoever maybe, he didn't turn into a fucking chameleon and go along with the clan. No. That ain't what a fucking leader does. A leader stands up for fucking something regardless of what the world says. Well, we want to make it politi politically correct. That's a fucking man-made word. Fuck politically correct. Fuck that. You bunch of sheep going to slaughter. You can kiss my Anglo-Saxon motherfucking ass. It is what it is, what it's going to be tomorrow. Don't laugh at me, okay? Now I'm going to take that and throw it out of my motherfucking head because I've said what I wanted to say. Even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. You know what? The puppies are always going to be all right because the puppies are resourceful. The puppies might not be professionals, but they do what they got to do when they got to do it to get it done. That's a resource for people. Yeah, puppies. And this world is taking a turn down real quick. The water's polluted. The air is polluted. The food is polluted. It's 
the common people, who are the survivors? Who is not? I know I'll survive regardless. I know. How do I know? I got that mentality. Alpha motherfucking the male. No matter what, who says what, when, where, and how. Because you know what? The almighty dollar in the end ain't gonna mean a rat shit. Because it ain't gonna be worth shit. It's like it ain't worth shit now. It's worth about 73 cents. That's what a dollar's worth. But you can't take these and make it happen. You're gonna run out of people that will do it for you for money. Because people, it's gonna get to the point. It's gonna be about food and fucking water and shelter, and that's it. Ain't none else gonna fucking matter. Anyway, take for what's worth, throw it in the motherfucking trash barrel as you leave. This episode is done. We're gonna call it a day. And cut behind the scenes. Listen. Don't mean shit, really.